Hey there, thanks for joining. At this video, we're looking at the IT assets. So we're trying to explain and give some examples around our how-tos. Uh, if you haven't seen them, check them out, DocuSnap support, and there's a knowledge base with all the how-tos you can have. It's pretty awesome. And in our case here, we are looking at the IT assets, which are usually relevant if you want to include all the things in your IT infrastructure, even if they're not discovered by DocuSnap automatically. For example, IP telephones. They sometimes are uh, discovered using SNMP, and sometimes you have to add them manually or import a CSV. And in order to import that CSV, we firstly define an IT asset, and that's what we're doing together real quick. So join me. So there you can see our typical DocuSnap dashboard. In there you see the content. On the left side you have the Data Explorer, and on top of it, of course, you have the ribbon bar. Now, on the bottom, you find the inventory. That's all the things that get into DocuSnap. You have documentation. That's all the things that get out of DocuSnap or that are exported. You have license management. It's pretty self-explanatory. And IT security, which, of course, contains our permission analysis for file system, SharePoint, and Exchange. Now, in order to add some other assets like an IP telephone, we are selecting this structure here below assets where we already have a folder, for example, air conditioning. Now, in here, we are trying to create a new directory, let's say IT structures or systems. And click save. And I want to add, I want to add a category called phones with a asset category called IP telephone. So let's just jump into DocuSnap management real quick. Select IT asset on top and manage IT assets. Now, since I already have IT systems, I might just want to create a new subcategory here. Let's call it IP phone and have a German text IP that way and IP phones here and confirm with save. Now, in here, I'm creating a new class and I'm calling it, of course, IP phone as well. And the display field is not yet selected. That's going to be the name of the system itself. And here I'm selecting the IP telephone and IP phone. Now, confirming that, I am able to generate new tabs. But let's look at them first. We already, by default, have general and organization. Here you can, of course, hide those as well. And let's create a new property in general that we, of course, call name, All right? So it sounds pretty similar in English and in German. And we are also creating a vendor. Let's call it a German one and the English vendor. And we also create a model uh, or type and like that. Let's actually use type so it's not that confusing. Now, we also add a network information like that. There you go. And what I'm doing here that's pretty important is that I'm selecting the network information because this will give us straight away the, the option to enter the IP address, uh, the subnet mask, and all these things. And that's, of course, pretty awesome. Now, here I can now select the information I want to do for the display. I think the name is sufficient in our case. Let's confirm with save and switch back into our overview. Of course, you can add your own icons here. It's pretty awesome. And there I got IT systems, and that's where I want to create the IP phones. I'm taking the name DocuSnap phone, and the vendor is, that's us, of course. And the type is, let's call it phone50. It's very catchy, is it? So IP address is going to be the just a generic standard one here, and confirming that one, and uh, and we're good, done. And you see that here you have the name as the display field. You find an overview, and of course you can filter and export here straight away. And now let's look at our network map actually, where we are able to find the DocuSnap phone in a separate IP range along with the system that DocuSnap inventory automatically. So that's pretty neat, right? And of course, you can use this 
to import a lot of data using CSV, for example. So if you have a, already a list of all the phones that you, for example, bought or uh, that you uh, had before or inventory manually, you can just import that straight away here. So that was pretty easy, right? Awesome. Now, be creative and add all the things that you want into your DocuSnap database and have them rooted in the network map, in the topology map, you know, contain all the things. It's pretty great. We hope you like what you're seeing. And of course, stay tuned on Facebook, on Twitter, on our What's New section, on our homepage, and of course, in our How To section. We're happy to help and, uh, you know, keep us posted. And until then, take your snap. We understand IT.